Girl, the flame, and you are listening to the Servant David Show. Keep it locked right here and don't change the dial. You don't want to miss it. Well, mama, 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 I told you it just warmed my heart when I found out that Servant David was doing health awareness Wednesdays on YouTube. I tell you, it just blessed my heart. The information that he gives us is so important. You guys have got to go check it out. Tell a friend to subscribe, comment, and like and share. Serving David on YouTube. Health Awareness Wednesdays. I tell you. Started off in Hartford, Connecticut, you know, and then grew, grew up a few years and then as, as, as I get older, I end up, you know, in, into manhood. I end up moving down to Oklahoma. I spent some time in Oklahoma, probably about six, seven years, and then ca came back here, and then, you know, we, we, we're here now. So that's basically where, where, where I'm from and, and, and the beginning of me. As a child... I was born, it, 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 to me, you see, this, this, my whole life is like a testimony, to me anyways, you know. It's like, from, from birth, I was born sick. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of a, a, a disease. It's a rare disease called Hirschsprung's disease, and it's an intestinal um, d disease. It's, it's something to do with the, with the intestines. Could, could well, it please could it please repeat the uh, word? Is it her sprung? Yeah. What her sprung? What's the word? Her sprung? Hirsch H E H E R S Hirsch. Yeah. Gotcha. Sprung. Sprungs. Okay, gotcha. Hirsch sprungs. Hirsch, Hirsch sprungs disease. Okay. And um it's a real disease, but it is it, it's with the intestines. And um, you know, under the age of a year, I had like five different open stomach surgeries. So I spent most of my life in the hospital wow. and i tell you this to kind of shed a little bit of light on 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 what happens later on in life me spending most of my life in the hospital from young you know put kind of like a fear in, into me just the smell alone the the, the injections the, the the doctors in the outfits and all that, that just kind of put a fear in me like, like, you know, so as, as time go on, um, you know, I, I, I grow up and, and like I said, I move on to, to move to Oklahoma, spend a few years there, come, come back here. I was, I, I, I've been married twice. So I got married here and then moved to Oklahoma and then go to a divorce, come back here and just what december 17th this year went to my second divorce so i don't know maybe marriage is not for me <laughs> <laughs> so so um I, I you know clearly uh the early days the early experiences 
weren't that smooth, but uh, you, 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 you decide that, look, you're not going to make nothing hold you back. And uh, right. you're in Connecticut. Um, in your early days in Connecticut, Connecticut, what were some of the things you were involved with? <laughs> um, before, <laughs> before conversion or... or, or well, we, no, we're talking before, a lot of before you converted, um, but just to give I've a little always, more. always, always, mm -hmm. um, from, from the idea of me, mm -hmm. have a love for dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, um, right. I, I, I've always had, had this, this thing for dogs. Um... Music, music is is another thing, um, and and just 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 growing up, basic basically, you know, just 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 go in in my early years, it was just music and dogs and you know the, the normal things some of us go through, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So 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 the the, the dogs because uh, you know later on we're gonna touch on the the fact that you mentioned about dog now dogs uh, later on we'll be able to make a slight. Um, connection with what you've been going through and how you've been surviving, you know, reaching out and doing different things. Um, you got to a point where you started singing. So let's touch a little bit about the singing. Then we're gonna go. go then we're gonna go through to the the, the your your situation. Um, singing. You, you. When did you start singing? And how did you first decide to do some singing? I know you were just 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 touch on that for me, please. Yeah. Well. From from a early from early childhood from I, I would say like in in my teen years this phone is acting up I would say from like my my teen years you know go, going to school and stuff like I, I've always had a thing for for music mm. you know and I, I I've I've done selecting and everything but my 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 greatest passion was more performing music so mm -hmm. I would. As you would say, um, do like dancehall DJ music, you know, um, all right, so, you know, world worldly music. All right, so who let us? I'm just gonna um, play a couple and, of bars. A little bit of rapping here, a little bit of you know stuff like that. All right, let, let me play. And then as I get David, yeah, yeah let me just play a couple of bars yeah. so that people can hear. Not much. Go and play just a couple of bars, and then we'll play one other one. Just. Yes, Servant David, the man on the screen again, diagnosed with lung cancer, skin cancer, and AIDS a year ago. All right, indeed, the voice of David going to give you one more. All right, indeed, all right, uh, Mr. David going to give you one more, and then we're going to give you... Greetings in the name of the Most High. When this day we face him as Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Glory be to God all the while. Well, no for them, so no for them, my big imposter. Every day them get the power. All right, folks, you're not getting too much height in the car. He doesn't do that anymore. We're just giving you a backdrop as to when he got started. So those were the kind of stuff you were doing, uh, and then you changed. When did you actually start to do like this one i want for you to comment on this one i'm longing for home all right Big song, you know we've been playing this for about. But when did I first meet you on my shows? You remember when? Is... David? David? I'm hearing you now. Yes, sir. Um, I was asking, when did I first meet you on these shows? Because I know Tim Ruelo, um, uh, Lee Hammond, were some of the people when I first met you. How long ago was that, by the way? You remember? Oh. Five years? Uh, pro Make... abro approximately five years ago yes all right five six years ago yes and you sent me this one and i've been playing it since then and you are a brother that's quite humble you are a christian a true christian and uh, i want for you to talk about the situation you're now faced with talk about what led up to you finding out that you a year ago 
Uh, just, 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 just let the listeners know, what did you find out about the current situation you're in? Yeah. All right. Um, as I said, you know, I, 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 I got, 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 I was married twice and I'm just recently going through my second, second divorce. Um, I would say last year around, actually, actually not even last year, 2017, November, um, is when, 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 uh, uh, a lot of the, 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 I guess you would say signs start, started to come out. Like I, I would see little marks on my body, but just take it as maybe a little rash or, or something because ex eczema runs big in, in the family, you know? And, um, but again, I'm not a doctor type person. I don't, I don't run to the doctor. I don't, I don't like the doctor. I don't, I just don't, you know? So I, I never really went for any checkups or anything like that. And then down in December, I started to, uh, to, to get sick. Backing up a little bit, you know, going to church and or just being around, people would see me and they would make comment like, why servant or uh, brother David, you 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 look you looking good. You look like you're losing weight, man, and this and that. And I never saw the weight loss. I never felt it. I never saw it. I wasn't on no diet. I I just I just wasn't seeing the weight loss. But other people were. And like I said, down into December now, um, you know, I I I I started to get real real sick, like with fevers of 102, 103. No, 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 what, no. The, the last time it was 104 point, point something. And that's <gasps> when I was rushed to, to, the, to, the, to the hospital. Um, they, they, they kept saying, like, they want to test me for, for, for give me an HIV test. And I, I would say, no, 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 I don't need no test. I don't need that test. I don't need that test. And even in years past, they would ask me anytime I did end up go to a doctor for, for some, they would, I guess it's recommended that they, they, they ask each patient and, and I, I would always turn it down. Yeah. And you're, so, fi you're figuring, you're figuring, well, Hey, clearly you have no reason to want to have a HIV test because you probably weren't in any of the risk, um, uh, risk group. Is that why? At the time. So I thought, Mm hmm. Because, you see, you, you, we're, 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 let me clarify that. When I say risk group, okay, let me get this straight from, from the get-go. Get One of the main reasons I'm telling my story is because I have no shame in it. This thing can happen to anybody. It can True. happen to the old, the young, True. even the unborn baby. Mm -hmm. I know I am not bisexual. I am not gay or anything like that. So... Mm -hmm. I'm good, mm -hmm. you know? Right. No, the other way you can catch it is through using IVs. Intraven I know I don't do drugs. Intravenous so drugs, yes. In in yeah, using, using the needles and uh, uh, sharing needles. Mm -hmm. I don't do needles. I'm afraid of needles, remember? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> obviously, it's not that. But I was loose mm -hmm. and foolish. You know, um... Me and condom wasn't friend. I didn't like condom too tough. I, I'm not saying I've never ever used it. Mm -hmm. I just most of the time I didn't. So uh, I so, probably so, use it about five times in my whole life. So so basically, yes. you were promiscuous out there with women, and uh, you were right. protecting yourself the best way you can. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, but not. I, I wasn't using condom. Right, I right. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't saying. using condom. You were not, right? You know, mm -hmm. I, I was not, and that's where the risk factor come come comes into play. Mm -hmm. But me blindly not just thinking like, oh, I'm not using needles, or I'm not gay, and that's the way I can catch it. Right, was foolish. Got gotcha. you. You know, and and so um yeah, I, I got sick. They started to treat it as bronchitis. Mm -hmm. Before, before they you gave me medicines for it and this and that and after a while, you know, I, I went back for like checkup 
or, or for um you know like a, a up, update on it and i still wasn't getting any better or or, or anything like that and they just kept on, especially the coughing, you know, and they just kept on pushing, pushing, pushing that, that, that I get the test, get the test, get the test. So it wasn't down, it was, that was in December. It wasn't until February. No, I'm, I'm getting really weak. I'm, when I say lose weight, if, if you see me, you, I suck out like, you know, you, you would think, you would think I was using drugs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, you know. Um, I then noticed the, 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 the weight loss big time because, um, at time it would be painful to sleep because it seemed like I'm sleeping on my bone. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it seemed like, like it just uh, painful to sleep, mm -hmm. you know, look in the mirror, you see the, the collarbone, it, it's sucking. Wow. Look at, I could see my back, the backbone and it, 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 it was just crazy. Fevers coming, vomiting. All, all kind of stuff. So, so David, that's, David, that's David, February and they, David. You know, I, I went back for, like I said, for a checkup. David, hold your thoughts for a second. They, hold your thoughts for a second, David. So, here we are. Um, when you speak of February, is February twenty-seven? I mean, eighteen. Correct. Eighteen. No, February twenty-eighteen. No, were you living with any loved ones? Were you living alone? Your family? Were you married then? What's the story there? I, I, okay, okay. So, so that's why I say I back up into <laughs> into 2017, mm -hmm. where I, I I I was married and we were going. We we've went through our we've went through our things, you know. And I I, I tried to make the marriage work, try to make it work <laughs> or whatever. Um, it, it wasn't working in November of 2017. Is when that was it. I, I basically ended up leaving the house. You know, mm -hmm. she, 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 we part. You know, I end up going back up at, at my parents' house, and 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 this is 2017. So I end up back at my parents' house in 2017 of November, right? About a week before Thanksgiving or something like that. Then December, I start 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 to 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 get like sick. Mm -hmm. And and then you know January and then and then February and I feel like what brought on a lot of this sickness is, is, is stress. Stress, okay. Stressing because of the situation and, and stuff like that, and it it, it I feel like it, it brought out a, a lot of it. So then we, like I said, we boost into 2018 January, still sick. Uh, the ending of January, a little, little bit better, but still, still coughing up all kind of stuff and ray, ray, ray. And February was the last straw, high, high fever, rushing to the hospital. And they, they tell me if I didn't come in, how this would have happened and that would have happened. They suggested I take, take a, te a, a HIV test and this and that. And I was if and on button and if and on button about it. And finally, I just said, okay. As long as it's just a prick, I don't want to see. I don't want you to have to like draw blood and all all of that kind of. They said no, you just got to prick the finger, mm -hmm. and then we find out, you know, if if you have it. That was the initial test, and it was the the longest thirty minutes I ever wait in my life. Mm -hmm. the, the doctor went went away. He, you know, they pricked me with my finger. They went away. They come back and 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 he said. It's, sorry to tell you, but you, you, you're, you're positive. And I, I blacked out, <laughs> I guess, or spaced out, or, or, or I don't, I don't know what, what you want to call it. I, I just went into like a steer. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like I don't know, blacked out. I call it blackout. No, you know? no, no. Let, let me ask you this. Um, at this time, though. You've been active in the church, and when you went for this test, did you have anyone from the church, or you just went there by yourself? Because going for this type of test, hopefully you would have had somebody there to provide some immediate strength. How? What was that like? By myself. By yourself. By myself. So you All by myself. No wife. No children. No mom. No ho no 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 dog. No nothing. <laughs> just me. I I I. I, I I just went to the hospital and they, they, he, like I said, he come back and he tell me it's positive. All right.
speak, speaking of children, you have uh, you have children, right? I, how many children do you have? Three. Three. Three kids. Okay. All right. And uh, well, I mean, then again, uh, well, <laughs> I, I can't even say I have, I have a lot of children. <laughs> Biologically, <laughs> um, on, on, on only one, you know. Okay. But um, but. I I I I I adapt to kids and kids adapt to me. So it's like I take them on as mine. And Plus, like I said, mm -hmm. I I was married twice. Right. So my first wife, she she has children which are my children. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't tell me they're not. You can't tell them I'm not. It's, right. it's just one of those things. Mm -hmm. And the same with the with the recent ex-wife. She has kids and and and. They're, they're like my kids as well. And he, he even she even have two grown kids who have kids. And it's like, the, to me, they're, they're, they're my kids as well. Understand, understand. Yeah. So, so David, um, by this time, you got the news from the doctor, shocking. You didn't know what to do. You couldn't move. Um, did you at some point, whether then and there or maybe shortly thereafter, try to reflect how you could have gotten... Um, the, the 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 disease did you ever try to discern what happened i i i i tried to discern um <laughs> you see the, the thing about the thing about aids hiv and aids is is, is, is is this thing is a is a is a genius of a monster mm -hmm. it's a monster and it's a genius mm -hmm. this thing Okay. They say that HIV causes AIDS if un if untreated. Mm -hmm. And over the oh, it, and in in order for it to take, I'm trying to explain this in in so so everyone will understand. Yeah, man, take your time. Take your time. Go ahead. Okay, HIV turns into AIDS when untreated. For instance, like your white blood cells are your good blood cells, the blood cells that are used to fight off all and any bacteria. You see the human body? Mm -hmm. Don't let no doctor fool you. The human body is designed to heal itself as long as we take care of it yeah. for it to do what, it what, do what it's supposed to do. Right. Okay. Um... Your white blood cells are your soldier cells, per se, the ones that do all the fighting. Your red blood cells, <clears throat> excuse me, your red blood cells are the ones that give you your oxygen. When HIV enters your body, it, it, um, it, it starts, it, 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 it attacks specific parts of your body, your lymph nodes and your white blood cells, mainly your white blood cells. That's it's 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 designed to do that. It was made by man to do that. So it starts to eat up your, your white blood cells. The average human is supposed to have between five hundred and twelve hundred white blood cells. When I got diagnosed, I only had twenty seven white blood cells. What? It's almost zero. 500 to 1200 you only have 27 two, like one two three yeah wow. 27 two seven that's it, wow it. wow white blood cell so that's why so so when they first took the initial um prick of the finger that just tells you that you 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 are hiv positive it doesn't tell you how much of the virus is inside of you got you mm -hmm. so i had to go back for a follow-up which was the next day to, to get blood drawn and then they send it to the lab. I wait a few days and then they, 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 um, they give you the results. So back to the white blood cells now and HIV. The HIV, it eats up the white blood cells. Once the white blood cells reach under 200, you start to fall into the AIDS status. Ah, gotcha. And, 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 and that's when they say, say con consider it. A, A, AIDS. Um, 
So 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 yeah. In February, when I when I got tested, I, I was fully full blown AIDS. Wow. Um, wow. they uh they said that the count was I don't have the paperwork with me. Mm-hmm. I wish I should have had it. Sorry, That's but right. at the time it was three hundred billion copies of the uh, of the of the uh, AIDS virus. Mm-hmm. You see, the the virus it multiplies by the second. It just it, it, it duplicates it. it. It it attacks the white blood cells and goes inside of it, fooling fooling the 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 rest of the body letting the body think that that white blood cell that is now infected right. is a good. good blood cell right which it it really isn't it's an infected one mm. and the virus grows inside that white blood cell mm-hmm. until it progresses to more more and more and then it it starts to just take over the the, the, uh, all the um the the all, 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 kill, kill all the good cells right. where you only have bad cells so no you don't another thing is you don't die from aids aids is called autoimmune deficiency it means that your 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 immune system has shut down mm-hmm. what kills you normally when when infected with with hiv is um it, it is a specific kind of pneumonia Mm-hmm. or other kind of things such as a simple cold um lung cancer <laughs> like i have um and, and and anything just touching a dirty doorknob and mm-hmm. then rub your eye right where you would probably uh, the average person would probably get pink eye mm-hmm. I, I i would die because or could really die because um i don't have anything to fight off right those type no, of um, no antibodies no antibodies to fight against r- right mm-hmm. so but the thing about this now let's like i said the average person is supposed to have between 500 and 1200 white blood cells mm-hmm. let's take you ruler mm-hmm. and let's take me for instance right me and you meet uh <clears throat> meet shelly Sh- sally her name is sally Mm-hmm. Me and you meet Sally, mm-hmm. and the two of us have, you know, relations mm-hmm. with Sally. Mm-hmm. Let's say it happened the same day. Mm-hmm. The difference is, with you, ruler, let's just say you are the type of person that you eat right, you stay fit, you take care of your body, and me now... I smoke. I don't. I, I don't. I eat junk food. I don't exercise. I I, I don't do it much of anything. Mm-hmm. My immune system from start and your immune system from start. Yours is stronger than mine. And yours. So is... let's say you. We're supposed to have 500 to 1200. Mm-hmm. Let's say you have 900 mm-hmm. and I have 600. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. We're still healthy. But your immune system is stronger than mine. Right. Now, the HIV comes into both of us because we both had relations with Sally. Sally. Mm-hmm. My immune system starts to get eaten, eaten up more than yours, even though yours is getting attacked as well. Mm-hmm. Mine get, get eaten up even quicker the rate. than yours. Yeah, the rate so is So mm-hmm. my immune system drops faster mm-hmm. and lower. Mm-hmm. than what your yours would so instead of this thing supposed to not like like they say it takes eight to ten years for it to progress into aids mm-hmm. i can progress into aids within months yeah, because much of the the, the, the the level of yeah, my right. good white blood cells mm-hmm. from 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 start the mm-hmm. thing is nobody ever really knows unless they constantly are are going to get checked for their white blood cells and, and, and this and that. Unless they regularly do stuff like that, they won't know what their count, what their average count is. Gotcha, gotcha. You, you get what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. So, so, no, you get it and I get it, but I start to die off or show symptoms mm-hmm. quicker than you. Mm-hmm. You understand it? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Following you, following you. I don't want to interrupt you because so, you're on a flow. So go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> so so ba- basically, um, 
that that that's where they found me. They found me at my 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 CD4 count was 27, and the the um the virus load was like 300 billion some some something or another. All right, some crazy number. All right, so let, let let's take it here from here now. So here you are, you're you're full blown AIDS, and uh, some of it you did not even realize. Uh, at this point, uh, February 2018. You went, you got the test. Uh, on the 15th of February, though, you were diagnosed, my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you had lung and skin cancer and AIDS. Can you, can you, can you um, describe the, 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 the integral, if there's any such thing in terms of when you found out you have the cancers and where the cancers is, was, a relation, was a reason from the AIDS and so forth? Just talk about that for a minute. Okay, the, a lot of things, a lot of sicknesses and diseases can hide dormant in, in, in the body. Right. Um, are, you, are you hearing me? Yeah, l let, me, let me just say, we're hearing you, but it wasn't as clear like before. I don't know if you move something uh, or the phone is, is resting on something. We're hearing you, you know, but we're not hearing the middle part of your voice. So whatever you uh, did before, if not, just continue. We don't want to lose you. You know, we have a, still have another 28 minutes to go. So just continue, continue. Oh, time fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's interesting information. Go, go ahead. Yeah, man. Go on top. All right. Um, where was I? Yeah, you're talking um, where, about. Where so you were talking about some of the illness can be dormant in you. You're not even aware. Okay. Yes. So so now some some of the uh, a lot of illnesses can be dormant from diabetes to various cancers, eczema, herpes, <clears throat> a lot of stuff we can all have, and it's dormant in our system mm -hmm. until somehow it, it comes out or our immune system is, is altered some, somehow, and then it starts to come out. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I, I was getting sick. And I got tested for the for the for the for the HIV. Mm -hmm. After the test for the HIV, I, I and and the, 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 after the initial test because it was two tests, right? So the after that initial test, I went and I got a test for 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 everything because I, I was like I said I was having problem I was having the coughing up phlegm. Um, cough up a few times. I coughed up blood. Mm -hmm. just, just, just a lot of different symptoms. Symptoms w was going on. So they decided to run a full test of of everything. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until about the uh, I think it was the twentieth or, or a few days after mm -hmm. the fifteenth when I was ex ex um, diagnosed, know, diagnosed, diagnosed with the lung cancer and and the skin cancer and stuff. Wow, wow. Now, um, hmm. So at this point, right, um, you found out you have these three things. Oh, you, at some point, though, you have to start to follow a certain routine, um, eat healthy, uh, go and get your checkups. How was that going? Because looking at you now, you're super healthy. They, this. Um, the way you look healthy compared to how you said you were before, you know, skinny and a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously, you've been doing something correct. Talk about um, from the time when you start to transition to doing the right thing, follow what the doctor said versus optional uh, medicine that you were looking into. Okay. When I first got diagno diagnosed, um they immediately wanted to start me on anti retroval i don't even know how to say it but but um medication that is specifically for antiviral medications right that are specifically for this type of type of thing again i i have never been one for 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 doctors you know and never really been one to to want to take any type of pills like Tylenol and all those kind of things because my view is mm -hmm. yes the, the the bottle might say 
it's for this and that and it might say what's in it and what's not in it but nine times out of ten i'm not going to look up every ingredient to see what every ingredient is i wasn't there to make the pill so <laughs> i'm not going to take too much medications too much pill 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 i right. I, 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 I don't like it so right. they wanted me to right away start it because they said if i don't it could be weeks before you know i'm i'm gone mm -hmm. so they they they, they kind of convinced me and i started to take 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 the drugs uh, i was first started off on one that they call travada mm -hmm. which was again something that i just is against it, it was it was it was where it, they with needles they had to do it you know giving you need through the needles and, and stuff like that and I couldn't deal with it, couldn't really deal with it, and not only that I couldn't deal with it, but it wasn't making any change. Nothing was getting better, nothing was getting worse, mm -hmm. but it was just stagnant, All you right. know? What, what, so, what, what, one second, brother David. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, 11.37 a.m. We're speaking with Servant David. Um, he's chronicling the three diseases he was diagnosed with February 15 of last year, lung cancer, skin cancer, and AIDS. Um, the question I have for you, David, um, you are getting treatment, that, I think you call it Trivada, I'm not sure if I captured the name correctly. Uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously, you had the three diseases at the time, so you had to be taking multiple medications. Normally, when we hear of AIDS, the first thing they want to give you is radiation and chemotherapy. So before we go on to the alternative methods that you checked out, talk a little about the, any chemo or radiation you were getting, if any. Okay, well, like I said, I, I, they didn't find out about the, the, the lung cancer. The, the skin cancer, they kind of put two and two mm -hmm. together. Uh, I, I, I kind of, you know, so I had to go to a dermatologist and all of that to, to, to get samples et cetera, et cetera, and, and that's um, how they, how they deal, dealt with that. The lung cancer, even though everything was kind of around the same time within a few days, they didn't find out until after I got tested with, with the HIV. Mm -hmm. Now, lung cancer, AIDS and HIV, they usually treat it with, 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 um, with, 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 with drugs, mm -hmm. you know, like, like pills and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Lung cancer, skin cancer, or, or any other kind of cancer, they usually treat it with, with radiation, chemotherapy, even though chemotherapy can also be in the form of a pill, mm -hmm. um, chemotherapy and radiation and, uh, and some other ways that they, they can treat it. Um, but the thing is, with, with, an, with an AIDS patient, you, it, it, it's very, very risky to to do chemo mm -hmm. or any type of radiation gotcha because what what chemo does chemo doesn't have any sense <laughs> any eyes or any brain right the only thing chemo is it, it knows is how to kill all cells yes so it's going to kill your red blood cells your white blood cells. it's going to kill good all and bad cells. good and bad uh -huh. yeah if it kills my white blood cells I not only just have 20, 27, I won't have any right. white blood cells to fight at all, right. which means the, 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 the virus would end up taking over completely and... and, and um, Reduces the chance of uh, uh, surviving. Right. So within days, mm -hmm. it, it, or right there in surgery, you, you know, right there receiving chemo, mm -hmm. I could... Um, I, 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 I could go. So it, it, it was a risky thing. Mm -hmm. they, they attempted it, and like they said, like, you know, they thought it was eating up my, my good, good cells. I was basically getting worse. Yes, I understand. You know, like my eyesight was going. Um, my hair w w w was really dropping out, dropping out, and my scalp scaling off. And uh, All right. Oh, uh, let, let, let me go back to this, though. You know, I know you were big in the church. You still are big in the church. At this time, while these things were happening, did you draw any affinity to anybody from the church to um, relate to them what you're experiencing? And uh, did you get any help whatsoever? <laughs> the, 
Yeah. Take your time, man. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I know it's rough. And um, you've shown a lot of courage, you know, to come do and, and do your presentation. So let's take a deep breath and do your thing, man. All right. Um, if you're ready, just go ahead and see if you can answer that. There was... there, 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 there I'm not going to say there wasn't anybody mm -hmm. there to, to, to give me support because there was. Mm -hmm. But there were also those who seemed to turn mm -hmm. from me, mm -hmm. maybe because of stigma. Right, right. Maybe because of belief, mm -hmm. meaning like whatever they might be thinking why I have or why I got or, you know, I, I don't know their reasons. Mm -hmm. I don't care about mm -hmm. their reasons. Mm -hmm. But um, so there, there, there were some, but the majority of the help did not right. come from the church. I understand. I understand. All right. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and fast forward a little bit. I want to catch everything in the next 15 minutes. No, um, you were getting treatment. You were getting help from your medical doctor. At some point, you transitioned. Talk about the transition and to whom did you transition from herbalist doctors and so forth. And talk about when did you start to see the change? Well, <coughs> it wasn't about maybe three, four months now, mm -hmm. about four months ago, when... um. I don't know if I should say this now. All right, hold it out um, here. Hold it out. Again, if you don't want to say release anything, you're free to hold back, all right? So if anything that you're not sure about, just hold back, all right? So, I'm, but, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer as, as I can. Yes, okay. No problem. Or as wise as I can. No problem. Um, it wasn't until about maybe three, four months ago, like I said, that after all the... The because the, I started on one type and then they switched me to another type and none of them was doing nothing for me besides a whole bunch of side effects, this and that, ray, ray, ray. So I started to 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 get frustrated, you know, and um, I guess that's when I I, I, I guess maybe really really went into into prayer really really went into seeking god i would say and he gave me a vision or a dream per se a, a, maybe a dream i don't know but he gave me a vision and um it, it, it was about a herbal doctor mm -hmm. At the time, I, I've never, ever, ever in my life heard about this person or, or nothing like that. I, I never really heard, heard about him. But in the dream, mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the person's name was, was Shebby. And he, he was basically guiding me to, uh, uh, to, 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 to some type of doctor. Mm -hmm. But dr as we know, dreams are kind of funny. So I woke up. And I'm sitting there, and the dream is, is it was vivid, like like if it was a, if, if I was alive, not yeah. alive, <laughs> awake, yeah, like, yeah. You know? and it was, yeah, and um, like like it was real, yes. And so I woke up, I'm laying there, I'm thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, and out of nowhere, mm -hmm. a a friend of mine called me. I haven't heard from this person in. In, in 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 years mm -hmm. in a while mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um and he called me and um i guess he must have heard from someone you know what what, what happened or whatever and he, he asked me and I, I straight out and told him and he told me to check out a doctor named dr sebi so when he tell now mind you i just woke up I'm right. still in my bed, <laughs> right. laying down. It, right. it had to be like 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.30 in the morning. I'm still laying down. Mm -hmm. He calls me and, and, and tells me this. So when he says Sebi, I'm thinking like <laughs> like the dream in, in my head and then him saying Sebi, but right. the dream was Shebby. Right, right. The right? dream was Shebby and he said Sebi. <laughs> right. 
Right. So 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 I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking and I said, okay, who is this person? He said it's a herbal doctor that they they end up killing and he, this and that. But just he was basically telling me just to go and look it, look him up, you know. So I went and I started looking him up and I started you know following him and 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 he's a very very intellect a very intellectual person very smart smart individual and um i just started following him and 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 following his his story and looking just researching him basically and one day i said you know let me let, 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 let me try it let me let me try this and in researching him i didn't just research him but i also started to research other herbal er, herbalists you know um one thing a lot of people think dr sebi is uh, is an actual doctor dr sebi is not really a doctor doctor he's an herbalist but that's a little bit you know off point but i just wanted to make that clear understand, understand. but um but um so yeah, I just started started you know looking up a lot of different herbalists, a lot of you know, but mainly Dr. Sebi because it seemed like he stood out more to me, maybe because of the dream. The dream, right? That makes sense. Right. So 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 maybe that that, that, that I could blame that on self preference, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. So I um like I said, I started look you know looking up looking up and um on him and learning a lot um his products are expensive but um I, I was eventually able to to order some of his stuff um with help of some 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 good uh, friends of mine also y- help yes i would contribute just... to, to 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 you know getting stuff from from there to here yeah and i started taking it mm-hmm. um and and started the main thing though i started I, I i started to eat right i started to change my diet no more meat no blood no meat no fish mm-hmm. no 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 fry this no fried fry that i just went organic vegan basically mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know and i start to see, see, see a difference mm. first with my skin right you know and then, you know, with, with, with just, just the way I'm feeling, and, 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 and I start to gain weight. Right, right. I start to get an appetite. Nice. You know? And it, it's a certain immune system tea that, that Dr. Sebi also has that I ordered, and it helps to boost your immune system. Right. So I started taking that, and, and, and along with, you know, other stuff, and going to the gym. Nice. And you know, I, 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 and, and I'm not gonna. I'm lazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm not an exercise person. That, that's back in the day when I used to box right. and stuff like that. That you know, no. But when you, when you, when you, when you, when, when, when you face between life and death, and you have to choose, mm-hmm. um, a lot of times, you got life extreme. will, 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 will. <laughs> Give you a slap in the back of your head and say, "Hey, right. you need to do this. You need to do that." Let, let, so, let me ask, let me ask you this uh, quickly. I'm uh, running out of time. We only have about five minutes remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, again, okay. Servant David. Same can't believe the time run off so quick. All right, so Servant David, um, in in many of your photographs that you've taken, um, we only see with dogs, different kind of dogs. I don't know if you train them or anything. Therapy. How does a dog provide some dogs provide some form of therapy? While you're going through this, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. How, how so? You don't how? even have to finish the question. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. My preference, my preference in dog is the American pit bull terrier. Um, I've I've always had a love for them. Um, I think what really, really got me attached to the, to them, like I said, as a child, I was sick and always in the hospital. And they had a dog in there that I don't know if it was a pit bull or, or what, but it, it resembled a, a, a pit bull. Maybe it was. I'm, I'm not sure. But it looked like a pit bull back, back then. Mm-hmm. And they, they, it, it, it was like a, th- it's a therapy dog. 
right. you know, that they uh -huh. would have go around with the kids and, and our, you know, whoever, whoever. So I think that's where I really gained most of my love for dogs, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because I'm spending most of my time inside the hospital. The first animal that I really, really see is a dog. Oh. You, you know what I mean? So I think maybe that's where my love for dogs grew. As I got older, you know, it, it, I have a love for all dogs, but I'm in love with the American Pit Bull Terrier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, 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 I do minimum training for myself, so please, nobody try to call me. I'm not going to train your dog. No, <laughs> no, yeah. no. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> um I, 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 but I, I do minimum minimum training mm -hmm. with my own with my own dogs. Right. You know, um, I chose the pit bull because the pit bull has a, a, a bad reputation, and there was a point where they were basically trying to m make them extinct because it, it, everywhere you go, it's they're banned here, they're banned there. Mm -hmm. When they go to the humane society, they don't get a a full chance like all the other breeds and they end up putting them to sleep on Ray Ray. So I know that the, the American pit bull is, can, 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 can be used for many, many other things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than what they initially used them for. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so that's, that's, that's kind of why I gravitated more to the American Pit Bull Terrier. But no, again, I do not train. So all those who may be just logging on, I don't train. I'm not training your dog. No, <laughs> I'll pet your dog. I will <laughs> like your dog. I might love your dog, but I'm not going train. to train uh, any dog. But, uh, all right. My... We have another five minutes. If anyone, if anyone who's listening in the chat room or wherever, uh, if you'd like to call in, and just say a quick word. It won't be long. Just uh, hi and, um, you know, any words of encouragement because we're running out of time. While that is happening, uh, Servant David, um, mm, your, your follow-up with the medical doctors now, now that you've been making a lot of progress uh, going through um, the alternate medicine route, and clearly you've rebounded strongly and you, you're looking strong, you're looking well, your voice is strong. Uh, I know I spoke to you the other day, and you had a little rough day. But um, how about the follow-up to get somebody, check out some of your current readings and make sure things are going okay? Uh, how is that like? <laughs> well, I still keep my appointments. You know, um, I, I, I still go to the doctors and, and stuff like that. And like I said, it wasn't until about three, three four months ago when I decided to to, 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 to go a different way. All right, we have a call coming in. We're going to see if we can pick up this one call uh, coming in. Um, Carla, good morning. How are you doing? Welcome to the show. Carla? Uh, Carla? Um, Carla, you there? Hi, Ruler. It's Lee. Brother Lee, calling all the way from Canada, my virgin. Lee, <laughs> go ahead. Talk to Brother David from now. Go ahead, sir. David, I just wanted to call and uh, offer some words of encouragement and let you know we are all thinking of you. And um, your daily messages that you provided on Facebook have always uh, been an inspiration and helped lift me up when I've been low. And uh, you sent me some messages on my birthday that have helped me. And I just wanted to call and try and do the same for you. So... Know that we're thinking of you, and we all have you. Your, your, our prayers are going out to you, and that's all I wanted to pass along to you, my friend. Brother Lyback, don't go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard his name many times over the past six years. Like I said, I think I meant Lyback, a royal law, a whole bunch of persons, including Sir David at the same time. Uh, he's there in Canada, and I want to say I salute yourself for calling in. David, take your, take your time to respond to, to Lyback. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Bless love to you, Lee. How, how you do? I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank Bless. You. Uh, I just heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Listen up there for me here. Lie back. Okay. All right. Yeah, you guys all take care. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Thank you so much. God, God bless Bye. you, my brother. I know. 
All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make a call in, I um, want to thank Servant David for calling in all the way from Canada. Uh, <laughs> you were a little speechless there. Oh, you make me feel good. Yes, man, it often make you feel good. I am mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <I'm all> right. <laughs> all right, folks, if you'd like to make a call quickly and uh, say a shout out to Servant David, the number is 770 744 um, David, in the meantime, you, you were about to answer, but then you uh, you hesitated about uh, the follow up, check checkups, and so forth. I I I, I go for my follow ups. Um, okay. It, 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 it's, it's, I'm I'm just gonna say, it. I stopped taking my meds. The meds that they were giving me, I did not tell them. I don't know if any of the nurses or doctors or anybody is listening. Three, four months ago, I stopped taking my meds because, like I said, the first time they would give me a certain one, it didn't work. They switched to another one, and it was still the same results, you know, side effects, this and that. So I decided to stop, mm -hmm. but I did not tell the doctors that I, I decided to stop. I decided to go, you know, the, the herbal way and, and changing my diet and stuff like that. Mm hmm but I decided to also not just because a lot of times they, they, they will do all type of things. And I was, I'm kind of afraid that they will try to lock me up or think I'm crazy trying to kill me. I don't know. So that's why I didn't tell them that I stopped taking my meds. But if they are watching now, yeah, I stopped taking it and I've been going, you know, herbal. But yet, as you know, I've still been coming for my, for my check-ins. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And... To tell you the truth, the levels have dropped. The virus levels have has dropped, mm -hmm. and my CD4 levels has risen. Mm. So that's one of the main reasons. That is the main reason, probably the only reason why. Right. Yeah, you stop it. I'm looking way better than I was. Yes. I'm feeling way much better. Yeah. And stuff because my immune system is starting to Improve. to build back up. Mm -hmm. All right. I tell you what. Um, we run out of time, but I'm gonna give you at least. 90 seconds to you know 90 seconds to summarize this and any words of inspiration any words of encouragement anything you've said a whole lot thus far which should have inspired persons but just sum it all together in terms of what we've talked about and words of hope because there are probably people out there today who are going through some probably equally as rougher times and they don't know the calling and struggling so just take a time and just heal up those people for me I want to say thanks to everyone who 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 was logged on, everyone who was watching. I can't see or anything like that, but um, for everyone that is logged on and, and checked in, I want to thank you all. Thank you again, Ruler. Um, as far as this thing go, you know, this AIDS started out, uh, uh, I think, back in the 70s, the 80s, and after a while, it kind of died down, and nobody was really talking about it. So I want to shed a little. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, David. Ah, oh, don't tell me. It looks like we got we froze. He's frozen. He's frozen on his end. It could be his phone uh, that's caught us. Well, it's it's twelve o'clock, and uh, yeah, he's dropped off. But ladies and gentlemen, I think his his battery may have died or something. Uh, all right, um, he's calling in. Yes, yes, David, fin finish your thoughts. We won't get you back on camera, but um, just finish your thoughts there, David. Sorry about that. Go ahead, please. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I just want to shed some awareness uh, on it. Um, knowing is better than not knowing. So please, go get tested. Go get tested for HIV. Go get tested for syphilis go get tested for lung cancer go get tested go get tested i'm not saying you have to rely specifically on your doctors or anything like that but go and get tested because knowing is better than not knowing it's better to be prepared than to be unprepared um and don't don't do anybody that 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 you may have come in contact with that that you know you know don't 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 shun them don't turn away from them because what they need 
is support. They need that, 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 that friendship. They might not reach out to you for the help because a lot of times they, they feel shame or they feel like they don't want to bother anybody or whatever reasons they may have. So sometimes it's up to you to reach out to others and, and you know, encourage them to, to, to continue to, to keep on. And in a way, that's what I'm doing right now, mm-hmm. encouraging each and every one of you to keep on keeping on so live in love love is the key and as i kind of ended off by saying you know i i i stopped taking my meds and i started to you know go the other way again this is not a pity party so mm-hmm. please don't have pity on me just just continue to pray for me and know that it is well it is well with my soul. All is well. All I love right. each and every one of you. Manas. Manas, I respect, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the voice of Mr. Servant David, my brother, and I've known him for a number of years, our humble brothers you've seen there. And we want, we certainly all want to wish him the best. And, um, I'll be in constant contact with him. Um, he's a brother I've admired for a while. In terms of, you know, usually comes into the chat room and he's always positive. I know him and Royal Law and um, Lybrock and a couple of the other guys. They usually have a bond that I really admire. And to know that he has gone through these trying times and are able to call in and share his story with us. It takes a lot of courage to do so. So, big man, blessed love to you and take care of yourself, big man. Much love and respect, sir. All right, folks, we're going to end it here with Servant David longing for home. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself, big man. All right, folks, that just about does it for me today. Ruler Brown on the Ruler Brown Network. You heard the story right here. We're going to have that up on our Facebook, on YouTube, and Twitter, and Instagram. Yes, indeed. I want to thank you so much. Again, folks, remember tomorrow, T Rob will be here from the Tony Rob Network. And indeed, yes, indeed. Got to bring you the Sultry Sunday Slow Jams on Sunday. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Peace and love. Remember, never look down on a man unless you're going to help him up. If you're down there, you certainly need help. And indeed, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for the day. Teach him to fish. You've now empowered him to make this world a much better place.